Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski, and today I want to talk about a Pokemon issue that I don't think gets enough spotlight because I guess the player base that this issue affects is a little bit smaller in comparison to just Pokemon makers and shiny hunters, but we're talking about PvP rewards. Now, someone made a really nice forum post talking about this. It only got around seven upvotes. It was a really nicely put, in my opinion, suggestion in the suggestion box, and I think when a community member politely presents a problem to the developers and then also kind of presents a little bit of the solution to their own uh, i think it's a nice thing to talk about we probably should highlight that kind of experience i think it's a really good way to go about making pokemo a better game as opposed to saying re dev stink and smell re all right let's jump into it Elibuzz, I'm sure you guys are aware that PvP rewards have been stale for a long time now. I can see how newer players can find some benefit in them, but anyone who's played more than a season or two of PvP in a tier is now overlapping the rewards, and it's a lot of a lot of it untradeable. The semi-comp gifts also lost a lot of its value when hidden abilities were released. I'll show you guys a good example of this here in a quick sec. He means the semi-comp gift Pokemon. Um, when hidden abilities were released because it's cheaper to just breed one from scratch than to buy a prismatic pearl for it. These are giant holes in the reward system. I can't overstate, like, yes, there is a giant, like, obvious flaw in the PvP reward system that I think probably should be, like, hot fixed. Um, I think the hot fix would be giving the ability to have uh, hidden ability access on the gift, the PvP reward. So, for example, if you go to OU right now in Pokemon, if you win this Dragonite, it's actually useless. You could actually never take this Dragonite to PvP because it would be so ridiculously uncompetitive and so ridiculously bad. The reason being is because to run Dragonite in PvP, you pretty much need its hidden ability. You need multi-scale. It's so much more powerful. Um, 96, almost 97% of people run multi-scale. These 3% probably just haven't had the Pokeyen to upgrade to multi-scale. Um, it is way cheaper to just breed a Dragonite from scratch. If you were to breed a Dragonite from scratch, two times 31 with V stats, hidden ability access, you're probably spending around 150K, right? Maybe 200K at the max. However, if you wanna buy a Prismatic Pearl, to be able to suck hidden ability and put hidden ability access onto this Dragonite, it's gonna cost you 300K. So you're paying 100,000 Poke Yen extra just to be able to use the reward that you got that is supposed to be a reward. Why is a reward worse than if you just bred the Pokemon? Like it's, yeah, so I think the hot fix should be, number one, just giving these Pokemon hidden ability access and you choose um, whether you wh which ability you want on it, essentially. Um, I think that's number one. I think that has to happen. That, that, that should be a hot fix, in my opinion. Like, that is a really bad, like, they're really behind on that. Like, that's, it's really sad to think that this Dragonite's just useless. Like, there's no point, in, like, that reward. And that's the big reward. Most PvP rewards, the big one is the gift, the gift competitive Pokemon. All the other rewards are pretty whatever, me untrue tradable metal coats value of like 3k pokey and a piece maybe untradable charcoals 3k a piece 500 bp that's a couple thousand pokey and maybe spell tags heart scales um toxic orb this is like if you win multiple matches like multiple 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 matches we can go to my season for example i'm 17 and 6 i haven't even earned 500 bp yet um like this is it's pretty crazy pvp rewards are pretty abysmal and now, I always talk about the, the main benefit of, of PvP rewards is playing tournaments, because you can actually win some incredible prizes from tournaments. That is super true, which is awesome. Uh, we can actually go, let's see if we go tournament history. Let's go NU Flames of Fizz. I think this would get like a 6x31 Blaziken. Yeah, 6x31 Blaziken was the reward for that. What about Crazy About Emeralds? This was a shiny Sableye with like fantastic IVs. Like there's some really incredible rewards via tournaments. However, the PvP actual like open queue rewards are just, they're, they're laughable. They're unusable. They're that bad. Um, let's go on to talk about what his solution is. So his solution is to release a mysterious ball for PvP and you can still make it untradeable if you would like. If you were to make the odds low enough, you could use the reward as a way to get more players to play PvP, as well as putting in rotation between the tiers. This encouraging players to play more than just OU. I will say I don't I don't love his solution personally because number one, I don't like mysterious balls. To be fair, I think an untradeable mysterious ball is the most balanced way to make a mysterious ball. 
However, the issue with Mysterious Ball, the prize from Mysterious Balls is shinies. The reason you buy Mysterious Balls is because of the super low shiny rate, and PvPers don't care about shinies. Why would you give PvPers a prize that is a, a po an item built for shiny hunters, right? That's, I, I don't love that, but it's at least he's trying, you know, at least it's, a, you know, it's I get where he's coming from, and making it untradeable is interesting. Maybe you could put, like, competitive Pokemon in it instead of shinies, you know, something like that. As well as putting in a rotation with the series, Played one just OU. This will also boost the economy since more players will build teams outside of OU. Maybe mysterious balls aren't the right reward, but he even says that he's just trying to he's trying to offer a solution. But a reward of equal value would be a great addition to consider uh, for PvP as well as rotating significant rewards between tiers. Once again, I I truly I truly believe that the um, the comp Pokemon should be hot fixed. In a, in a way that like they just give them hidden ability access like just give these hidden ability access and that will actually make them useful and then we can take our time like hot fix that first things first and then we can take our time and sort of plan out in the future hey how do we want to like maybe slowly or slightly buff pvp rewards um pvp is never going to be like the best money making method or even like a really good one um it's always meant to be like the end game activity. It's meant to be like the thing you make money to go do is to play PVP and to like get on the leaderboards, right? But there's not a whole lot of incentive for mediocre PVPers or beginner PVPers because we're, you know, they kind of just have to, they have so, they're so far from ever winning tournaments or they're so far from ever, um, being on the top 100 right and there's a, there's a really good argument for they should just get good and that's the whole point i super agree uh, unironically and there is a huge um argument for like oh they just need to work on that right but i, I think that there should be i, I think there should be rewards I, I think if there were rewards more people better rewards more people would be getting into pvp more people would actually try to get better more people would care about it uh unfortunately for whatever reason the way humans are wired profit motive is like the most powerful fucking motive right unfortunately um so I think having better PvP rewards, number two, step two, and number step one, just give these guys hidden ability access. That's it. That's all I want to talk about today. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts politely in the comments. Go like this post. It'll be, if you agree with it, obviously, it'll be linked in the comments or the description down below. I think it's a really important thing to talk about. I've talked about it for a while now, pretty passively, but uh, I really like the way that this guy brought it up. So thanks for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Dislike if not. Subscribe for daily Pokemon videos. Streams are Monday through Thursday at 12 p.m. ET. Discord's down below. And if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel, there's links down below to do so. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Peace, Areno. Have fun playing PvP.